So guess what? We are on our final module, module four, which I have entitled Death of the American Dream. I don't know if it's really appropriate, but often in today's society, um, I see several students who don't even know the term the American Dream. It's something that I grew up with. Um, so, you know, a question I have, what is the American dream? Does it even exist anymore? Or are we more concerned with other things? You know, we have violent protests. We just had a global pandemic, human rights issues, economic upheaval, of course, materialism, digital technology is growing at such a fast pace. Um, so can we even say that there's American dream? Um, the phrase American dream was invented or coined during the Great Depression by James Truslow Adams. He was an author um, in which he said that the American dream is achievable for everyone um, if they work hard. So, you know, as we re read these stories and the poetry, we can ask ourselves, does the American dream still exist? Um, you know, or has it been redefined? So I leave that up to you. None of these stories really touch on the American dream, although some this semester have, but these just show, I guess, when things don't go as planned, um, when things that we take for granted, I suppose. So Sylvia Plath is an author um, from the mid 20th century. Uh, she wrote very depressing poetry, but, or a lot of people say, but she wrote about womanhood and um, grappling with mental illness, and she ended up committing suicide. Um, very tragic life. Um, next up, John Cheever's The Swimmer. Um, after that, two of my favorite modern authors, T.C. Boyle and His Carnal Knowledge. Um, you have to read this. It is hilarious. Uh, it's about a meat eater who um, really, really likes a girl, and so he decides he's going to try to become a vegetarian and um, rescue animals and that sort of thing. So, I mean, it covers very serious issues, but there is a humor to it as well. And last, a very short play entitled Poof by Lynn Nottage. I do not want to ruin the surprise for you there. Again, very serious issues um, when you read between the lines, but it is done so in a way that is kind of humorous. So I hope you enjoy all of these selections, and I will... Talk to you soon.